Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. And a good, good morning to all you folks in Memphis here on AM 790, 92.9 HD FM. And, of course, we have David Beal in here with us. Uh, works for the Shelby County Kicking the Door Society. But, uh, but we're going to talk with David here at the end of this segment about square bill crankbaits because the man knows it. And, then, of course, the man that knows fishing is backwards and forwards is our man Ron Wong over there. Hey, good morning, everybody. Yeah, and we're going to close out today's uh, Christmas special show with a with a gentleman that uh, I had a chance to meet and uh, got to see him at the Legends of the Outdoors Hall of Fame uh, when I went in, saw him again last year. Uh, Ron's now the official photographer, and it's Bill Waller, and me and Ron are sold on hook and bullet sunglasses. Wouldn't go anywhere without mine. Absolutely. And it's always good to talk to Bill Waller. Merry Christmas, Bill, and a good Saturday morning to you, buddy. Well, good, good morning to you, and good to talk with you. I appreciate you having me on the show. And Merry I, Christmas. And I know, uh, let's talk about a Christmas memory for Bill Waller. I mean, uh, okay. and then we'll yeah. get into the, the hook and bullet, which I think is a great name for sunglasses, you know, but uh, uh Give me a Christmas memory for you, Bill. You, you know, I, I'll tell you one that, that uh, you know, I hate for this to be publicly known. but uh, <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> when, when, I, when I was a youngster, I, I suppose I was probably 12 years old or so, I'd, I'd been pestering my father to get me a, uh, a 12-gauge shotgun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I, I'd been up to that point. I'd been shooting a, a single barrel 410, <laughs> and and I and I loved it. And I yeah. I could do pretty good with it. It fit me pretty good. But I'd been pestering him, and he he got me a gun. And at that time, I was uh, doing a whole lot of duck hunting in Southeast Arkansas, and and I, I have a cousin down there that. Yeah, you know, we grew up probably more like brothers than we did cousins. And yeah. So we'd go yeah. out in, in the field, and we would do this, uh, bring one gun, and you shoot till you miss. And, of course, the other guy has to retrieve your <laughs> yes, duck. That's, and do all that. that's pretty cool. That. Yeah. yeah, and you can probably see where this is going. So yes. I, I got this new gun for Christmas, and, uh-huh. and I was – I was just beside myself. It was a Remington 1100. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It, it, good one. Oh, it, good one. It, was a, it was a cat daddy. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and the only 12 gauge I had shot at that time was a, was a, and I'm making excuses here probably, but the only one that I <laughs> shot was um, my uncle had a, uh, what was it, a Remington model. Uh, 11? Is that what it was? The old humpback? The old humpback. Hump yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. And, and it kicked like a pack. Meal. Oh, it did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what and happened? The only time I shot it, 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 it scared me to death. I about dropped it and uh, about knocked me over. I probably didn't weigh 100 pounds. And, yeah. And uh, so anyway, uh, my cousin and I went out, and we were sitting in this rice field, and there's two of us, and we went out there one evening. It was the evening of Christmas Day. Oh, okay. And uh, so he's going to let me shoot first. And, of course, you know, I, he's – a couple years gun. older than me. Yeah, it's your and, gun. Yeah, you should shoot first. Gun. Okay. Yeah. And I, I was so scared of it. The first ducks that come in, we're covered up with ducks that day. And first duck that came in or ducks that came in, I shot three times and didn't hit a duck. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Uh-oh. 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 Yeah. Cousin's turn now. Cousins. Unfortunately for me, my Christmas present, that was the last time I shot it that day. So, <laughs> oh, your, your cousin he, took we, over? <laughs> he, took, he took over, and we shot and shot two limits of ducks, and we went home. And that's a great story. As we great be, story. It, <laughs> yeah, that's a great story, Bill. Great story. And, uh, appreciate it was you a share, lot of fun. sharing that with us. And uh, I know uh, Ron introduced me to you and your glasses, and uh, – I have to say I've worn other ones in the past, and I'm not just blowing smoke, but they're they're cool looking and things along that line. And folks, if you're, this is uh, you know, we got two days to Christmas. Uh, Absolutely, uh, still you, you time, can, still time to, to put that order. So talk about hook and bullet sunglasses. Yeah, I, I can tell you a little. You know what? What we're trying to do is something a little bit different. We're yes. we're trying to go about it a little bit different than our competitors are. And what we're doing is we're choosing to address that fa- function over fashion. Yes. And yeah. so, so we're all about the lens. We're a uh, innovative lens first technology. Yes. And we're creating lenses to give you a better sight picture in a particular environment. So the idea is if, 
if I'm if I'm out in that rice field hunting ducks, yeah. well, I've got a lens that's dialed in specifically to see ducks better, give me a better sight picture. Yes. And if I'm if I'm hundred miles offshore chasing a blue marlin, or I'm with Ron Wong chasing a, a a big bass up on a bed, yeah. Well, I've got a lens for that too. So that that's where we're differentiating ourselves is the lenses themselves, how we make them, and how we engineer them. Yeah. To get to improve your sight picture. Well, I want to throw in uh, because I, I'm a golfer. Uh, now that I'm 80, I can shoot my age every once in a while now, <laughs> which is pretty good from the forward tees. Yeah, you look mighty but, fine. Now. But I can't tell you how many times I've had people say, "What? What those sunglasses you got on?" And I say, "They're hook and bullet." And they said, "You're wearing them to play golf?" I said, "Yeah, yeah, I'm wearing them to play golf. They look good in the mall too, you know." So, uh, oh, yeah. uh, so the. <laughs> I, I was I was just going to tell you that I've got some good news for you, and, and what? I, what? I I may be letting the cat out of the bag here, and we're we're a ways away from it. But when we when we develop sunglasses, it, it's a pretty long and arduous process to uh-huh. get to a a lens that that meets our standards. Yeah. But I just got uh, two days ago our first set of golf lenses. Are you serious? So we, wow. I'm serious. Oh, oh man, I got to stay lenses. alive now. <laughs> I, I got to stay alive, Bill. Okay, you you, you got something that the, you put the carrot in front of me here, you know. I'm, I don't know how many days I've got. The good Lord knows that. I'm getting a body scan next week for my can cancer and I'm saying, "Well, you just man, you made my day, Bill Waller." Yeah. I mean, well, uh, that's a, that's pretty amazing, Bill. Yeah. To be yeah. sport specific. Yes. With yeah. sunglasses that's and right. And a lot of people don't really understand why, you know, they think one size fits all, but that's not the case at well, all. Well, I'm finding this out now. No, I, yeah. I it, no it really idea. isn't. Yeah. It really isn't. What, yeah. what we're doing is through the lens, we can manipulate the colors. Of course, we have a, a lens that's made out of nylon. It's not glass. It's not that's plastic. amazing. It's, yeah. It's a nylon lens. It's clearer than glass. And what it allows us to do is we can manipulate the colors that come through that lens wow. to accentuate your your sight picture. So wow. what we're doing is, is we're we're you know bringing up some colors and we're muting some colors. So we're accentuating some, Amazing. muting others to give you a better wow. sight picture in that particular environment. So uh, Larry Ray, you're going to have the very first pair. Of, uh, <laughs> oh my God! All right, all right. Well, I've already put, and you know put me at the top of the list, buddy. Right. Okay. Yes, and you know your lenses too are really, really quality lenses. Oh yeah. Because yeah. tell our listeners where uh, the lenses where they come from. Yeah. Yeah, our, our lenses are made by uh, Zeiss Optical, so oh, most yeah. people probably probably know them from a. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I've been wearing uh, Zeiss binoculars yeah, for yeah. 20 years now, and, yeah. and it's it's the best lens on the market. It is. And yeah, and we were very lucky on, in establishing a, a working partnership with Zeiss, and they wanted to do this. They wanted to create lenses that that were not fashion lenses, that were lenses based on function, and that's function. where we that's yeah the key. we really. That's got lucky and hit a home run with them. Well, tell our listeners how to get, as Ron always tells me, yeah. and he's getting ready to say that. Any uh, more information about Hook and Bullet and uh, where they can get orders and things like that? You bet. Yeah. Yeah. You bet. Well, let, let me first say that uh, to all you listeners, Larry and Ron, I'm giving a set up a discount code. Uh oh. Just Larry Ray. Oh, so, man. And, and of course, right. uh, I, I know you misspell your last name, but. But uh, it's spelled the way you spell it. Yes. And, uh, uh, <laughs> it's REA, folks, okay? Yeah, REA. All right. And, uh, it's, yeah. it's Larry Ray. Yes. And uh, we, you can find us at, at hookandbullet.life or uh, another another tidbit of information. We're going through uh, a little bit of a name change right now as yeah. we introduce other sports. We're, we're located at Purpose Built optics.com so okay that's the new handle for for our purpose built optics.com right okay yes sir that's right find us and 
Well, Bill, we appreciate it. Merry Christmas. You made my day, buddy. And that's hard to do for somebody <laughs> my age or something like this, you know. And uh, Well, as you get along, uh, as as we start rolling, as you start yes, rolling Yes, yes, we want to get back with uh, We need to be talking about that. Yes, yes. Yeah. You bet. You Stay- bet. I, I would love to. Yeah, would we, love- do, we don't want to wait till August and the legend of the outdoor comes back again, you know. No, okay? no, no. no. Let's, no, uh, no. We'll, let's no. stay in touch and we'll, we'll All right, Bill. certainly be there. Yeah, Bill, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to you, buddy. And you've. Like I said, you've made my day, and I, I can go home a happy camper now, okay? <laughs> likewise. Uh, two of my uh, favorite people. I appreciate y'all having us on the show, you, and Merry Christmas. Thank Merry you. Christmas. Bill Waller. Okay. Uh, before we get out of here, I, uh, Mr. Square Bill, man, has brought up something. We yes. got uh, we got to you know, t- yeah. tell me what you just told me. All right. So uh, for all the listeners out there. This uh, is David Bill again. That's right. It's Hillbilly. 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 Tell us, right. Hillbilly. That's right. So remember what uh, the uh, fishing report that Ron Wong gave y'all. Uh, very profound. And I was sitting over there shaking my head like <laughs> yeah. Ron giving them all the secrets. <laughs> 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 but uh, just like Ron, we – we are passionate fishermen. We are passionate anglers, and we want y'all to catch. We get that's right excited when y'all catch fish. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah. what we, that's what we are here for. So yes, one of the things I want to touch on uh, is a square bill crankbait, and everybody know me for that. Come to the boat show, yes. and you'll find out Come more about that. Come to the boat that. show. However, uh, there's a color change when water temperature change. Ron right. mentioned that's right. Water temperatures, and yeah. uh, that's very critical. And the reason why he mentioned that, because us as anglers, we know that temperature is critical. Yes. And uh, color patterns change with forage uh, when water temperatures change. So one of the uh, color patterns that I use is a high, bright, red, orange, black back kind of color when it comes to bassing in the winter. And that just creates, that's because the crawdad and things like that are Crawfish are on the bottom. Yes. Yes. Okay. And so they turn these colors, and you have to keep in mind, water temperature equals color pattern. So yeah. uh, once you find it out, you'll find yourself catching more bass during the winter time versus the spring. So that's, that's right. Uh, Ron said that. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. That's, what, that's what Ron was touching on. That's the reason why he was touching on temperature. Yeah. Because he wants y'all to understand that with temperature come color change. And do not, do not X out your square bill crankbait. Just change the colors. There that's you right. Go. Yeah. There you go, and David one, Just one thing uh, before we leave, uh, uh, a reminder for everybody. The 61st, uh, 65th AutoZone Liberty yes. Bowl is going to be next week uh, on the 29th. Uh, our University of Memphis Tigers will be going against the Iowa State uh, Cyclones, I Cyclones. believe it is. That's, That's right. right. That's right. And, yeah. uh, you know, there's still good tickets available. Uh, and, by the way, if you get out there, wave at me. I'll be on the <laughs> field. I'll go and take your picture. Yeah, yeah, and we look forward to that. Ron, again, uh, thank you for uh, being part of this team. David, thank you for taking time to be Absolutely. with us. And uh, Shelby, as always, has done a great job. Again, next week, we're going to take a little week off for the holidays, but we'll be on the air with the best of Outdoors oh, of Mary I can't Ray wait for, for that. For 2023, and uh, I've picked these out. If you don't like them, that's too bad. <laughs> I mean, it's because it's some really good shows that we had. It was a hard decision even to come up with the number of uh, uh, segments we had. But we got to get out of here. Again, Merry Christmas to everybody out there. And when we come back after the first year, we got a lot of new ideas. I didn't even tell Shelby about this on Outdoors with Larry Ray. <laughs> You're going to find out. We want your participation. So go to LarryRay.com. And you heard uh, Bill Waller tell you, hey, we get some discounts if you go to that PurposeBuiltOptics.com. Um, or hook and bullet, uh, hook dot and bullet life. yeah hook, hook and bullet and type dot, in larry ray uh, and get your discount yeah get your That's discount right. for a christmas gift but anyway again thank y'all and as i do every show it doesn't cost an extra cent to be a good sport and what else guys god, god bless, bless the, the usa, USA.